Wow, what a rainy day. Wow is right. It's coming down right now. Wow. Kill that Anthony. There's an ant. Wow, it hurts. I was eating some fruit and then it must probably come from that fruit. The mangosteen. Yeah, so Raining very hard. Yeah. The reason why we're out here, what's the point of being inside? There's no uh, TV. No signal. Yeah, no so I guess we're gonna sit here and watch the rain. Yeah, count the raindrops. There's another ant. I hope it's not gonna flood again. Yeah, we're all sitting in front of the yard, but... My sister Maribin just uh, told me a while ago, I, you know, I called her, I called her up and she said that my dad is very devastated because he checked on the rice field this morning. It was bad, it's damaged. Oh, really? All that rice that we planted, how long ago was that? Like over a month ago? Yeah. I was he, there. Did he plant some special expensive rice? Um, yeah, he planted some hybrid rice and he actually planted it a, a different way this time, a better yeah. way that should get a, a, lot, a good crop, but how can you? It was six feet under water. Yeah, for how many days? Yeah, so, almost a week. My gosh. So he's yeah. really sad that you know, his rice field is, uh, is damaged. I'm going to tell him that not to... You know, really get stressed over it because my dad is getting old. He's gonna turn 60, 60. in a few months. Yeah, he still works hard every day. I know. Well, we'll just have to sit in here and wait for the rain to stop if yeah. it's gonna stop. Still the rain. Yeah. It's slowing down now a little bit, but it's pretty wet. It's rained, rained a lot this month. Huh? It's rained a lot this month. I know. Well, you can imagine this rice field was five or six feet underwater. Yeah, it was five, six feet underwater. For yeah. it would have been fine if uh, it uh, the water like dried up very quickly, yeah. but it was soaking in the rice field for how many days? Yeah, it was that's why it's damaged. Yeah. yeah, the rain, the rain was. Yeah, the rain came in in there. We were sitting in there. So... Well, at least you don't have to water the plants. Yeah, I don't have to water the plants. I mean, it's a lot of hard work when I have to water the plants. But now, they're getting so much rain. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of water this month. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check on what she's doing. You've been out here for two hours. What are you doing? Cutting, trimming the bushes. Oh, wow. I've been trimming the bushes because uh, we Over have on the flowers. Side? Yeah. Flowers in the side too, but I don't want you to go there because... Why? Maybe it's slippery. I don't want you to fall again. I'm going to yeah. go out front and take a, a video of that side where after you trim the flowers. No, I didn't yeah. trim the front. I only walk in there because there's a slippery part in there so you know because it's wet just go there when it's dry I was just trimming all the plants because they're growing I can see that yeah that plant has been <laughs> it's getting pretty tall I know Yeah, this is their property line, the back, back right here. Be careful in there, honey. I yeah, all right. That was pretty close to the house. Back here. And this is the, this is behind us. This is the lot right behind us. We have a neighbor there. And we have a neighbor back there. If you can see it, there's their house right back there. And this the old jungle back there, and nobody lives back there. Well, way back there, there's another road. 
but uh, still. And there's a lot of people starting to build lots on the street. Got two new, uh, two new houses right down the street. People are starting to to build, so getting crowded. Okay, that's good. What are you gonna do with all that? I was thinking if I should throw it out there or should I just throw it here? Just throw it right here for now until we can get out that side gate tomorrow or something. Just That's too much to put in there. Then maybe I'll throw it in there. Well, not if you want. Throw it over the fence, you mean? Yeah, over the fence. Yeah. Okay, hurry up and throw it. <laughs> Don't plug up that canal they dug. I'm not. Just gonna throw it as nah. far as I can look. Well, if you can get it on that pile, yeah. Well, there you go. Good job. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> See, it will, it, it's still bushy, but I trimmed it a little bit. You know, it looks like a forest here a while ago. Huh? You cut them back? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Some, you know. No good. Okay. Well, be careful, honey. Be careful. Don't yeah. step on the... Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, why would you do that to me? You know? I feel like, uh, I feel like pulling your ears, you know? <laughs> I almost slipped when I did that. Ugh. You did? Actually? Yeah. Oh my god, see? You're shooing <laughs> off and you almost actually slipped. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. What happened last night? I was just working in the yard until dark and I just did not know. I was planting the flowers. I was trimming everything. And there's still plenty of work to be done. Yeah, I was... Always. Yeah, it was raining and I go, uh, I don't care if i soaking wet. I just need to get uh, the things that I was doing. But anyway, this morning we are off again to the dentist. Yeah. This time it will be a new dentist next to our town. We're gonna have her look at the result of the x-ray last time. See what uh, she can find because uh, Dennis felt like there's a piece of tooth uh, left in where the last one tooth. got pulled. Yeah, I think there's still a piece of tooth in there. Yeah. So we get all the issues. Try to get all the issues to fix today. Yeah. A uh, couple of cavities and check that. Uh, check to see if there's a piece of tooth in there. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> just got home and uh, from the dentist but the dentist really did not see anything uh, very serious so she is the new dentist because now we, she's the old dentist because she, we're gonna go back to the first old one <laughs> yeah we just really uh, went there so we can have a second opinion of what is the cause of because we thought that or Dennis thought that uh, he's swollen is uh, because of the Maybe there's some tooth, but there's not there's something tooth. Something else? Yeah. Well, 11.30 and we didn't yeah. even have breakfast. And this <laughs> is going to be our brunch, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> We're hanging outside. It's hot. so hot inside. Yeah. I don't know, for some reason, yesterday was pouring rain. It was cold. It was like, I thought it's going to flood again. And today... It's so sunny, it's so hot, it's just the weather is really like, you know? Yeah, just, I mean, really drastic from one to the other. Yeah, but uh, we are uh, adjusting it here now, you know, before it, it's hard to really take the heat. But uh, after living here for almost four years, we're it's kind of... It's still hard taking the heat. 
Yeah, for you, but for me, <laughs> I'm okay with it now. We're going to talk about, you know, a couple of uh, commenters ask about, you know, how we made the decision to move here and what it, you know, what it took to make the decision and make the move. And, you know, the hardest part of it was making the decision. I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about it and talked about it for Me, quite, many years. Yeah, a couple of years, you know, a few years. So, oh, wouldn't it be nice to move to the Philippines? But, we, you know, we never. Uh, we, we never really made the commitment, you know. Right. But, but uh, you know, finally, I think it was probably two months before we actually moved mm -hmm. here is when we, when we finally made the commitment. You know, six months before we moved here, we were on the verge of making it, but back and forth, wishy-washy. Yeah. But it was probably like two months before we moved mm -hmm. where we finally said, yeah, we're doing it for sure. Yeah. And uh, Like a final decision. Final decision. decision. And, it, and it took up, took us about two months to prepare to get ready to come here i mean yeah we had we had to ship about like i don't know four or five boxes to the yeah. philippines of our important things like clothes and yeah belly buy on boxes we yeah you know we packed up four or five of them and that took you know a few weeks to do all that and uh, ship them over here some things that we just had to have but we couldn't take with us on a plane mm -hmm. you know a few tools i had that, that i took and yeah and the rest of our stuff we we had somebody pick it up and they only paid like five hundred dollars for all of it but they're gonna take everything including the even the garbage they're gonna take yeah. it all yeah out. you know we had a we had a little storage shed up beside the place mm -hmm. that had that full of tools man yeah there's a lot of tools gold prospecting equipment a compressor all kinds of things man we had uh you know tvs in the bedrooms t big tvs in the living rooms yeah brand new couch we, yeah. we had bought, you know, and we they, have other things they, too, yeah. like bed and. And it know. was hard to get anybody to cut. It was hard to get rid of everything because yeah. the only way we could do it is get so, a state sale. Somebody that did a state sales and would come in and uh, give us a price on and taking everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he gave us is five hundred dollars for everything. That's well, the only deal we could get. Although we were thinking about what if we will, we are just gonna rent a storage, yeah. so because we don't know if we're gonna like the Philippines, and we were, we were uh, thinking, why would we rent a storage? We're gonna pay like a hundred and fifty right. a month, uh, you know, renting a storage in the Bay Area is very expensive. Yeah. So we're gonna pay maybe one hundred fifty or two hundred dollars a month. And what if we move to the Philippines and we say, uh, wow, we really like it here, so we. Yeah. we what are we gonna do with our things in the back in the u.s so yeah. we really had to decide yeah. then what to do with our things yeah we, we just had to cut ties and get rid of everything that we had i mean because just like she said if we came here and liked it how are we going to get our stuff over here it's just yeah. we're paying storage for nothing yeah you know plus the fact that when we got here you know unbeknownst to me she had already started the house I knew we bought a piece of property. Yeah, we say that when we get here, our That's plan is to start started. building it. Yeah, right. But he didn't know. He had no idea that I already started it. And yeah. when we got here, it was actually livable enough. I yeah. mean, not quite. Yeah, not it done. was barely livable. But I mean, it, it had a roof on it, mm -hmm. you know. And, and uh, the bedroom was already painted. There's a bedroom was the bed done. Yeah. yeah, bedroom was and we, done. And we had an air conditioner in the bedroom. Yeah. It was done and a TV. Yeah, and so, I made sure that uh, there's. I really had. Uh, I had my mom credit all the appliances into the appliance store, the AC, the refrigerator, the um, yeah. all, all the appliances that we gonna Cooktop, need. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there was no cooktop, honey. When yeah. we got here, I had to get the cooktop. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the TV. Yeah, she credited all of that stuff. For, you know, we her family was a big help. Yeah, it, they, were, know, they were. They were. They they were oversaw the construction of the of the house mm -hmm. for two months before we got there. Got mm -hmm. here, you know. They cleared the lot for us, and they they did a lot. My Even family. credited appliances and stuff like yeah, that. Well, so, it was in my mom's credit, but yeah. you know, I told my mom, "Don't worry," because my mom doesn't really like crediting something. And yeah. I go, "Don't worry about it. When we get there, we're gonna make payments on it until it." Pay, get uh, paid off you know. so you know all our appliances was paid off about one year since we uh, yeah, when we year. got here about yeah. a year we were making payments on all of it because uh, we can't afford to pay cash of all the appliances so yeah. you know but you know I mean when we did move here we hadn't we had no idea if we we're gonna make it 
you know, know. or if we were going to be able to uh, find a niche, hard. you know, and and you know, uh, settle down. We didn't know if we we're uh, really if we were going to stay or anything. So uh, that was <clears throat> that was the hard part, uh, but not knowing, you know. But then once we got here and you know, uh, slowly, slowly yeah, start, started finishing the house. Mm -hmm. That gave us uh, that gave us something to do and something to look forward to. And you know, slowly we settled in, and you know, now this is this is home now. Yeah. After four years. Yeah. If even if we go to the U.S., we probably go. Oh, let's go home now. So our home is in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know for you, honey, but you, how you feel. Well, yeah, about I it. mean, yeah, it, it, I feel the same way. I mean, we got a house here. This I mean, of course, here. Philippines is always my home because this is where I grow up. But right. after living in the U.S. for like eleven years, it United States is like a home for me also. But yeah. you know, since we moved from the U.S. to here, it's like a this is my home now. Sometimes we really talk about like oh, how we miss the U.S., you know, yeah. how we miss the food. It would be nice to go there for a month or for two months. But the, even though we, we know we couldn't do that, and uh, we were saying maybe we should just rent an apartment for a month just to see the United States. Yeah. But, you know. But, you know, renting, renting an apartment would almost, I mean, it's outrageous. It almost take my whole Social Security check, Yeah. you know. So yeah. obviously, you know, our financial situation is a lot less stressful here. Mm -hmm. uh, than, Definitely. Yeah, but than in the U.S. because we were we were struggling. I mean, we really, really were had a budget and uh, never had any extra money really. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, was, this is a good move for us. But the hardest part, you know, really was finally making the decision to do it and do it. Mm -hmm. And know. now looking back, we always say we made the right decision yeah. we're grateful to be here <laughs> yeah yeah but it took us about two months so from the yeah. time we decided you know liquidate everything you know get everything ready to go um, you know I wish I would have known before we left there uh, about banking and the financial thing and it would have helped helped us a little bit but yeah. I didn't really uh, have any idea about all of that but you know we worked it out you know, not a lot of people that move from the from the states or from the U.S. to the Philippines that liked it. Usually, it's a maximum of, of one or two years. And yeah, and, they, and then they move back yeah. to the U.S. Some do, yeah, some do. Yeah, some some do. If there's anything that we would uh, we can share with you about our new journey from the U.S. to now here in the Philippines, then we will. We have any questions? That yeah. We didn't touch on we could get more specific if you have any questions just let us know that's it for this video and uh, i hope you enjoy uh watching our <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks for watching thank if you, you for any watching let us know. we will see you again next time yeah next time bye, bye, -bye.